In this lesson, we will start building out the second exercise. There are two key things we will do in this lesson. The first is that we will create tasks that make up our project schedule. Secondly, we will get a deeper understanding of the extremely important Gantt chart view. I urge you to also fire up Microsoft Project, keep your project exercise files handy and follow along with this video lesson. In the earlier lesson, we did all the preliminary work of the project like setting the start date of the project and configuring auto scheduled tasks and then I saved the file with an appropriate name. Now we have to create the tasks that make up our project schedule. First, make sure you have the Gantt chart view itself open on your screen. If it is not so, just select it from the view tab here. Make sure you have the Gantt chart view selected. To create tasks, you can just go directly and start typing in the task name. This is exactly what we did in the first exercise. But now I am going to show you a simple shortcut. Since you will already have the task name in the downloaded text file, you can just get it from there. On the screen now, I have our objectives text file open. You can see it has all the tasks listed in the bottom. Just select all of them and copy. Then come over to project again, position your cursor correctly and just paste. You will immediately have the 11 tasks that make up our project schedule inside your file. Just notice now that all the tasks have the same default duration that is one day and they have the same start date for each task that is the project start date and hence as a result of these two they will all also have the same end date. Now before we proceed further I want to explain this Gantt chart view to you in some more detail. Gantt charts named after Mr. Henry Gantt from around the 1910s are a visual device central to project management. They represent a schedule information visually and they can convey extremely complex information in a very easy to understand way. You already understand that the two parts of this view in project that is the table on the left and the chart on the right are interdependent to one another changes to one side immediately reflect on the other side also. For example, if I change the duration of this task to five days, it will immediately reflect here in the chart view also. And it also works the other way around it. I just undid it and see it works exactly the other way around also. Now I did it in the chart and you can see the duration has been impact in the table. For the chart view here, you can use the zoom controls like this and you can use the scroll bars to position the view also accurately. This Gantt chart view is really central view to Microsoft Project and most of your work will be on this view. So get extremely familiar with this view. In the next lesson, we will continue to build further with our exercise.